everybody. I'm going to show you today how to bring Shopify's modular blocks to build out other pages on your website. As you can see, this is a page on my website, chibi.com, which is not my home page, but I have the block functionality. I have the section block functionality. And I'm going to walk through how you can do that. So first you're going to need to know how to do, how to edit HTML and Liquid. Um, if you are not familiar with how to do this, you should probably contact a Shopify expert. Um, so let's jump in. First, uh, I, I'm like, I highly recommend using a theme that already uses modular sections. I'm building and customizing off of Shopify's Venture theme, which is one of the free themes. And when you're thinking about what you want to bring to your custom page, so I'm doing a, essentially a business marketing page for business services, and I kind of just wanted to have an image on one side and then text on the other, and I kind of just wanted to alternate. So when I was thinking about what I wanted to bring to that page, I looked through the existing options. So you know you can you can click through and see which thing that you want. And I chose image with text. That's what I that's what I really want to work with. So what I did was that I went to uh, I went to image content because that's actually what the file is called. And I clicked it, I opened it, I grabbed all this code in here, and I went and created a new section. And this is my custom section. So I went add new section, and I titled mine business home because I'm creating a business home page. You can call yours whatever you want. So let's hop over. I customize my, I customize my settings to do exactly what I want, which is, um, I was looking to be able to quickly add in like either image blocks or text blocks. So that's how I customize mine. So I have the ability to do left side or right side, and you see it's dynamically switching. This is something, this is one of the features that I really love about Shopify is that everything is live previews. Um, I would, so the, the only things that you need to note is that you can call this name whatever you want. Um, you can, you can when you define your blocks for this, um, you can, you have to kind of hard code the the type of the type of features that you want into this one page. So basically, everything has to be self. All the options that you want have to be self-contained in this section liquid. This is different from the typical from these from the dynamic uh, add section area on Shopify's like customized theme homepage. So on your homepage, you can pick like from a big list. That's not the case. We're actually creating, see business home, we're creating a section that's a lot closer to the footer. So I noticed that with the footer, we still get these drag and droppable dynamic sections and I want to be able to bring that to another page. So once you, once you customize, uh, once you customize your features that you want, save out, save the file, and then let's hop over into our theme.liquid. What you need to know about this page is that you have to call the section directly in theme.liquid. You can't add a conditional. Um, you can't add something like if page is business then call that it doesn't work that way it needs to be called directly on this on your theme so that doesn't mean that you can't add a condition so that's not showing directly on your home page because again we are here to create a special uh, home page that has modular blocks or a special page that has modular blocks that is not on our home page so what you do is that you don't put your conditional on the theme, you put that directly inside this liquid. So I put if page handle equals business, because I have a, I created a page called business. Um, I put the if here, here's my HTML and liquid, I end it. So 
it closes out before the schema area. Once you've done that and you've saved that, now we don't need to see that anymore. Now it's going to show up in your customized theme panel. So the next thing that you need to know is that to be able to customize this, you see that if you just click on it directly, I can't see what I'm editing. And that's because I'm not actually on that page. So it's actually a requirement that you add the you add it to your navigation menu so you can navigate to there. I'm going to click, I added it to my footer. And now I'm on the business page of my website. And it doesn't work to type in the URL. You actually have to add it to the navigation. So now you see that I'm on this page. If I click into my options, I can customize it however I want. So that is adding, that's adding modular sections to your Shopify theme in a nutshell. Uh, so finally, you can see um, this is a great way to extend Shopify's newest features to simplify your workflow by basically creating a drag and drop website builder. And that's a functionality that I know that we in the community forums have been talking about and wanting for a really long time. So here it is. If you have any questions, my name is Stephen Chu and I am from Stephen Chu Studio. If you like this tutorial, you can follow me on the interwebs at Stephen Chu Studio. I'm a Shopify partner and expert and I will also do a write-up for you to follow along. So check the link below in the description of this video. Ask your comments and questions there, and either I or the Shopify community will help you get sorted. So have a great day, and I hope you found this useful. Thank you.